Channel. I hope you're all well and to those of you who are new hi guys I'm Jordan and thank you for stopping by today I'm going to be creating this look for you and I unintentionally use a lot of Kat Von D products I didn't mean to but um, I recently got them when I was um, in America and I just really wanted to use them in a video and I used like three products from oh no four products from Kat Von D so yeah <laughs> They are such fab products, I love them. Um, but obviously you don't have to use the exact products I use to create this look. You can try and find dupes for them. I'm sure there's so many out there. Um, but yeah, if you like this look, then please keep watching. So for primer, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love this because it's really hydrating for the skin. And it smells like coconut, which is good. My skin feels so dry at the moment and I think it's because of like all the central heating or on, you know, because it's so cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, my skin has been getting drier and drier and spottier by the looks of it. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and I am in the shade Light 45. And this is a real high coverage foundation, it's quite thick. Um, but I like it. I feel like I need it at the moment. My skin just feels gross. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind in light. What's new? Um, I am going to pop another concealer on top of this because I don't feel like this is light enough for how pale I am at the moment. So I'm just popping that in an upside down triangle under my eye. In between my eyebrows, like around this area here. The tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. A little bit, just there. I'm going to go on top of that with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. Just to add a little bit more lightness to the skin. I'm going to run that down the bridge of my nose slightly. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let that sink into my skin a little bit while I do my brows, just because I've heard it kind of conceals a little bit better because it sinks into your skin a bit more. I don't know how true that is, but let's give it a try. And I'm going to do my brows. And for brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Taupe. My favourite brow product. So I'm just going to brush through my brows first of all with a spoolie. Just to make sure they're all going in the right direction. And then I'm going to grab my uh, MAC 266 brush to fill in my brows. Because this is a new dip brow, it's a little bit darker than, um, well not darker, it's just a bit more concentrated than usual. Because my other one's quite dried out, so I need to be a little bit less heavy handed, because I think I've been a little bit heavy handed right now. <laughs> and as always at the front, I don't put any extra product on my brush. I just swipe down to that inner corner area, turn the brush on its side and just wiggle it around, push upwards, blend whatever products left on the brush through that um, front part of the brow. I have a brow tutorial up on my channel so I will link that below. Now I'm going to blend my concealer out with my foundation brush. Now I always kind of bring it on top of my eyelids as well to act as a bit of an eyelid primer. I'm going to powder my entire face, um, avoiding the under eye area because I'm going to use different powder for that. But I'm going to use this Rimmel one 
and it is in the shade transparent. I'm just going to dab that all into the skin. Don't use powders that often, to be honest. For the under eye, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Con Contour Kit. So I'm going to use the yellow shade and mix it with the white shade for my under eye. So I'm going to mix the white and the yellow together and I'm just dabbing it under my eye. Now for contour, I'm going to go in with the shades, uh, these two here, and mix them together on this NARS brush. Start from the corner of my ear, going down to the corner of my mouth. But like I said in previous videos, I don't bring it literally to the corner of my mouth. I start from there and finish out right there, <laughs> and blend upwards, never downwards, and then go on to the temples around the top of the forehead then using the more cooler tone shade which is the middle shade I'm going to run it down the sides of my nose nose, I sounded very posh then and a little bit round the little tip Ooh. A little bit under the lip and the bottom of the chin. I'm gonna go in with highlight now. I'm gonna get it little, 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 and I'm gonna use a pigment from Illamasqua called Furore. Furore. Um, I can't really pick it up because it's a pigment, and if I hold it up, all the pigment will fall out. But it's just like a little square pigment, and it, it's more like something that people use as eyeshadow, but I think it's great for highlighting. Now I'm going to grab a smaller brush and run it down the centre of the nose and on the tip of the nose, well not tip, like around there so I'm bringing it like I'm bringing it up a little bit so hopefully my nose looks a little bit more up at that point instead of like it being, oh shit, <laughs> instead of putting it right on the end there to make it look longer I'm putting it a little bit further back so it looks a bit shorter. I'm going to put a little bit on the cupid's bow, a lot on the cupid's bow, uh, to make the lips look fuller. For blush, I'm going to be using this one from Urban Decay, which is called Video, and it's this matte brownie terracotta -y sort of shade. And I'm bringing it back to the hairline. I'm going to grab my stippling brush and blend all that together. Now for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Kat Von D palette, which looks like this. It's so beautiful. It's called the Monarch Eyeshadow Palette. And first of all, I'm going to go in with this shade on my E40 brush. This is a nice matte, so great to work in our crease. I'm popping it in my crease, starting from the outer corner and going backwards and forwards and then in circular motions. Just with a light hand at the moment because I want this to be quite subtle at the moment. We're building it up. I mean we will build it up. <laughs> so backwards and forwards, then in circular motions. gently tickling the eye with the brush. Now I'm going to go back in with the same shade and deepen it a little bit more. Right now I'm going to use the same brush and go in with this really warm shade. Just to warm it up just a little bit. So doing the same thing, just run backwards and forwards, 
bend upwards. It's pretty simple, but you just got to keep blending until you're satisfied with the pigment, how bright, you know, how bright the, because that is quite a bright orange. So if you don't want it as bright as perhaps it looks in the minute, just keep blending and maybe put that other colour on top that you used first of all, just to um, so make it a bit more subtle. So now I'm going to go with a colour that I'm going to put on the base of the lid, which is this gorgeous shade here. It kind of matches the top I'm wearing today, which is always cool. Not contrived at all. It's not actually. <laughs> Coincidence. Anyway, I'm going to pop this on the base of my lid. Such a nice colour. And so pigmented. It's so lovely. I've gone into the crease a little bit with it, which is fine because I'm going to blend that out and I'm going to put a darker shade through the crease too. I wish there was like a camera that I could put like on my mirror so you could see properly. I just don't want to get the eyeshadow all over my face but I want you to be able to see. hope you can. Looking a bit pandery at the moment so I'm now going to blend the eyeshadow out um, into the crease a little bit because it did go into the crease a bit but I'm just going to soften that before I add another deeper shade to that crease because looking like a panda is never the intention now I'm going to go in with the crease shade which is this real deep mockery kind of shade and I'm using an E25 brush and I'm just going to run that slightly through the crease And then in a minute, gonna blend out a bit more with that E40 brush. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. But this is just a smaller blending brush. And I'm just popping that through the crease. I'm now gonna grab the E40 brush again and just blend. And I'm also going to grab a little tiny bit more of that orangey shade, but tap it off so there's not much on there, and just run that through the crease once more, just to keep that warmth within the colour, because otherwise it looks kind of less warm than we wanted it to look well, than I wanted it to look. I want it to be quite warm looking. So I'm just really lightly running that through the crease. For the brow bone, I'm going to be using this shade here. And on the inner corner, I'm going to be using that pigment we use for our highlight, called Furore from La Masca. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going to use the shade we used on the base of our lid. And run that on the lower lash line. I'm going to bring that quite low and dramatic. And I always connect, not always, but most of the time, I will connect the lower lash line up to the shadow on the top lid. So it all connects. With the lower lash line, I like to grab my um, E25 brush and just blend that out. Just smoke it out a little bit so you have no choppy lines within the um, shadow. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is like using a felt tip, it's so good. And I'm going to bring it down to the inner corner and create kind of like a cat eye in the inner corner too. What I do is I've done a line going down and now I'm going to do a line going into my waterline. In the waterline, I'm going to be using just a black pencil, and this is Smolder from MAC. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the Socialized Lashes in Minx 2.0. These are just really beautiful. Not that I need it, because I've got my falsies on. I'm going to be using the Falsh, Falsh? False Lash Sculpt Mascara from L'Oreal, just to blend my lashes in with these false lashes, and then obviously to do my bottom lashes too.
For the lips, I'm going to be using another Kat Von D product, and this is Bow and Arrow, and it's a liquid lipstick. It's so lovely. So that's the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed creating this look for you, I think it's such a lovely look, um, if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have any makeup requests, any tutorial requests, any, any video requests, leave them in the comments below and I will try and do as many of them as I can for you. I always like to see what you'd like to see because obviously you're the ones who are watching the videos, you're the ones who matter. So. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because you won't see anything else from me if you don't subscribe. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Have a great day. And well, I have a new challenge for you. It's called the Jordan Hand Challenge. Now, I let you in on my life by showing you my beautiful struggle.